Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we looted Terrace Cave for its items and got the Cubic Musical Score 6 or 7, I'm sorry, and we took it back to Ura and played it for an item. And now we are progressing with the storyline. We are at the uh, Legacy of the Eastern Tribe, which is also known as the Great Ancient Ruins. Um, and we are at the entrance. So there's a few things I want to tell you guys before we go inside this area. There are these uh, items that are similar to the Elmans back at the Ice Canyon, except their name is uh, Trookey. And they're just like the Elmans, they will steal the items from you until you find them, find the key item and take it to the boss to fight them and take out their leader. So if any tricky foes appear, you're going to want to kill them fast or you're going to just want to run away until we have that key item in our inventory. And there is another um, enemy that we're going to take notice of and that is the money foes. They look like little um, dolls and they come and they steal your money. So unlike the Chookies, we're going to want them to steal our money at least once in order for us to do a side quest later. So don't worry, I will tell you when, um, whenever, I will tell you whenever we got a battle going with them and, and I'll tell you how to get them to steal some money from you. Okay, so moving on, we're going to go ahead and move forward. And head north for a scene. And you'll find out that there is some magic uh, at work here. You're going to want to go ahead and head northwest and ride the first platform that you come to. then go ahead and ride the second platform to the right and you should head southeast and then get off and walk around to reach the third platform and we're gonna ride that southwest now at this new area there should be a treasure chest that we can open so go ahead and open that for the key item table fragment And then go ahead and ride the nearby platform back to the entrance area. And then go ahead and get back on the platform. Hey, take the initiative, I always say. the first platform that we came to earlier again except this time head west and open the chest in the distance for four magic staff fragments and then we're gonna go ahead and ride the platform to the north head left and up the stairs and go ahead and enter the ruins we are now at the astral square so once inside the ruins go ahead and follow the path to the east and then north and pass the platform for now and head to the northeast corner to find a royal seal that is hidden behind some debris. Go ahead and break this royal seal. And for 
breaking this royal seal we get the golden gauntlet which is a uh, auto shield which is a pretty good accessory to have after we've taken care of that go ahead and backtrack to the platform we passed up earlier and ride it and you'll get a scene go ahead and step on the platform and head over to the glowing orb and press A to operate. This will lift you up to the second level of the ruins. And go ahead and head to the north. Now I'm not even going to waste my time with the battles here because Maybe we're already at an extremely high level and we don't really have to worry about that right now. So go ahead and head along the north pass path to find another platform and now you're uh, party will split up into two separate parties and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and label it Team Seth and Team Kaim so as Team Kaim go ahead and step on the platform and then click RB to change your characters and then have Seth uh, operate the glowing orb that will raise Kaim to the upper level Control will switch back to Kaim. As uh, Team Kaim head to the left to find a broken platform that's stuck on a ledge above. Go ahead and walk up to it and press A to ram it off the uh, ledge so that it falls below and then run to the um, north room to find a chest and open it to obtain the magical lock key key item now we're gonna have use for this later so I'll uh, mention whenever we need to use that but for now just take note that it's in your inventory Go ahead and head uh, southwest. What? Then you might want to equip the turn tail uh, shoot the turn tail shoes to max so that we can uh, flee now head to the southwest area and descend the stairs and there's going to be two flights of stairs we need to descend and then head to the west and get on a platform go ahead and take this platform down
once on the uh, lower level, go ahead and follow the path around to the southwest and take it all the way to the southwest corner where we'll find a hidden chest which is slightly off the map so it's kind of hard to see and this contains the magic analysis book which is level 3 composite magic very useful stuff as soon as we get that chest press RB to switch your characters And once you're back in control of Team Seth, go ahead and board the platform that we rammed off earlier with Kaim. Then go ahead and head west and then ascend the stairs to the south. And then ascend the stairs that are directly to the west to reach a treasure chest. With four iron ball of ruins inside. Then go ahead and head back down the stairs and continue south. Ascend the stairs that are in the southwest corner and follow the path around until we get to another platform that we can ride. And ride the platform up to reach a chest. Go ahead and open that uh, for some spirit magic reset. And then go ahead and head north and follow the path to the north and you'll notice a big red symbol on the ground but for now just go ahead and run past that and then follow the path to the east to find another uh, broken platform go ahead and press a to ram that off the ledge and press RB to switch your characters and then as Team Kime, you're going to head back around the uh, head back around the platform and follow the path until we reach the the platform that we just rammed off with Seth. Go ahead and get on that and operate it. Now this should raise us up and we are now back with and we are back meeting up with Seth again go ahead and talk to Seth to reunite the parties and then head west and then south to reach the glowing uh, sign on the floor when you get near it, if the parties are reunited, the sign should turn green. After that's taken care of, go ahead and head west and enter the and step onto the platform in the distance to be taken higher. Now we should be at the hanging corridor, which is a outside ledge above the ruins. Go ahead and head east and follow the path. And then south. 
and we should reach another platform that we can ride down. And head east for a can scene. We rest here? Rest? No, that's Ryan and found this magic stone. But look at the boy king. I don't think he's walked ever. So after the scene, you can head a little bit to the east to find a healing point and a save point. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly save my game. And to the south is a chest that we can open. After the scene. Also, by the chest, we will get a scene where Mac notices this is the last spot that we need to install a magic gauge for the side quest that we got from the Grand Staff construction base. So now that the magic gauge is, is installed, that should be all four of them, and we have that ready to turn in. Now we can finally open this chest. And you might be wondering what we just got out of that. So now, said we'll use the item we got out of the chest to upgrade our magic powered locator, which is now upgraded to level 2. So if you don't know what that is, that is the item that we had got from Tosca Village that lets us find uh, the secret treasures, uh, where we have to find the treasure hunt information and then it will show up on the map. So now we have a stronger magic powered locator which lets us find even rarer treasures. So that's a very important item to take note of. So now that we have that upgraded, um, I'm going to go ahead and head back to the save point and save one last time. And it looks like that's all the time we have for today. Um, so I'm going to conclude this episode here and we will pick up where we left off on the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey where we will be heading deeper into the ancient ruins and hopefully we find some good stuff along the way. So I'll see you guys next time.